And she felt like a nasty, yucky monster with a lot of weight in her legs. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Bro, skip this screen, bro! bro I did not expect that dress to go that far, bro! Move the screen! Hey! 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 Yes! Tully got the bed, walking like I'm Fred. Bonnie Rubble riding in the bubble, but it's stolen, watching for the feds. Made twenty thousand dollars yesterday, little boy. You heard what I said? You can't. It's the dark skin savers, my nigga. Sound, bro. Yeah, we need a sound, bro. In 2021. No, no, no. No, it's the same yeah. shit. No, it's not. It's still the same. It's the same. It's a remix, bitch. I don't like that remix. Hey, how much you do with you African beach? Alright, man. Anyway, man, this is our first video of 2021, bro. Yes, sir. Most of y'all know we took a trip and now we back, though. It's back to film for y'all. Right, see this, yo, guy? Yo, that merch, that support it. Version, you know what I mean? They can't see Yo, you. Y'all yeah, see the back, bro? See that, bro? Shout out to my nigga Diverge. Like shout, out, shout out to my Diverge shit, but this nigga, he needs some detergent shit. <laughs> but anyway, man, Yo, our Instagram will be popping out right now. Those but before we get to this video. <laughs> 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 they got a new part. They got to subscribe, subscribe, like, and, and comment down below. Yeah, dude. And after this, what will happen to Captain the Rapper? Remember that this first and foremost, y'all. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Because if you didn't subscribe by now, I'm going to punch you in the foot. That's second what I'm going to say. Okay. I feel like this video is going to be very inspiring yeah. to the audience. Yeah. Because I guess this dude lost weight. But don't don't get it twisted. He's still going to catch that flame button before the transformation transforms. Wow. Ah. Let's get into it. <laughs> TLC's My 600 Pound Life has shown us many shocking as well as inspirational weight loss journeys. Patients of the show start off at ridiculously overweight numbers as Dr. Yona Nazardin performs weight loss surgeries on his patients and coaches them along the road to a healthy weight. Today, we are going to take a look at some of the craziest transformations ever to be seen on my 600 pound life. Be sure to- that like, shit is bro. to his leg, bro. bro no to hate, bro. Leg, bro. No hate, bro. I've, I've seen people like this, bro. But nigga, this is a transformation video. I want to see how this happened. If she- Bro. She, she, she did not work right. out, bro. Bro, you gotta know she that it's She had to Yeah, it's sometimes- Cause, bro, ain't no way you can run on that. You can't go like- <laughs> ain't no way they nah, like, but, but they strongest strong though, bro. Nah, this is how they start. People that that size, it's swimming lessons, actually. Swimming? Yeah, they do swimming mm. shit. As you won't want to miss out on what we have today. Also, leave a like and subscribe to the channel oh, to show your support. That's his stomach. Christina Phillips. Okay. In season two of My 600 Pound Life, Christina Phillips came to the stage weighing in at over 700 pounds. At the age of 22, like Christina knew she needed to take action before her obesity ruined her life. Prior to appearing on the show, Christina stated that she had not left her house in over two years. Damn. Luckily, she found my 600 pound life after reaching out to the producers. She told Women's Health, getting up and walking just a few feet made me feel like I was going to die. I couldn't drive, walk far, or go out with friends and family. I was Damn, miserable, and I knew I had to do something. So Christina- uh, I'm not gonna cap though. People that have weight like that, bro, they be whipping the shit out of cars, bro. Nigga. Hell oh, no, nah, you damn, no, you damn right. They be whipping it all right. They be the one with the- I ain't gonna lie, nigga. They drip they too. Bro, they be the one with the drip too. They be like this. Like, cause it's so comfortable, like the body's not moving, bro. Like, They're like right? this. Have you not seen the car yeah, on the side? On the side, bro. I said, you gonna drip. <laughs> nigga, if you turn a little bit, that weight gonna put- Nah, <laughs> bro, nigga. They yeah, have nah. more control in the car, cap, bro. It's fucking crazy, I don't care. Well, let them niggas hit a sharp right, nigga. Come on, that one will too. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna do a double. <laughs> In her twenty fifteen, where are they now? Follow up. Christina had undergone weight loss surgery, skin removal surgery, and a total change in her approach to food and health in general. She oh, weighed crazy. in only one hundred eighty three pounds. Her weight loss Damn. ended up being so extreme that she actually lost too much weight. The doctor advised her to gain fifteen pounds in order to be at a more healthy weight. Christina also holds yeah, the current a record buff. for the most weight loss by any contestant on the show. That's crazy. I can tell. Paula Jones. Bad for you? When Paula That's started her journey crazy. with my 600 pound life, tell she weighed in at a whopping right. 542 pounds. Not only did Paula want to better her life and lose weight, but she was mostly motivated yeah, by the walk. fact her husband had died from weight related complications. 
Buckle up, Grammarly Grammarly does, like. does more than can over 600 pounds. From 542 pounds, when the show's cameras began rolling all the way back in 2013, Paula says she's lost a total of 400 pounds. Jones took her family from Georgia to she Texas to start her weight loss journey. According to Women's World, it paid off so she and she experienced amazing out. results, ultimately oh, losing 400 it. pounds. The magazine reported that her relationship with her kids has improved. With oh, Jones saying, I can be things? more active with well, I've God learned how to be emotionally right healthy. Why well, see that hamburger? No, you ain't slick. But let her eat. It's that for the kid. That ain't yours. It's for the kid. Hey, no, bro. I'm fucking with you. Hey, bro. I don't know who made up that fool ass fucking lie that said eating veggies and shit gets you skinny because cows eat grass all the time. That motherfucker's <laughs> fat. That motherfucker's is fat. I mean, cows are made to, to look like that. Bro, no, bro. Them niggas be fat. Nigga, what skinny cow do you know, bro? Exactly. <laughs> that nigga was born big, bro. Them nigga come out like this. Straight grass, bro. Well, it's physically, physically healthy. Ass ass as of 2019, Paula is actually now a grandmother. I think it's safe to say that her journey definitely worked out in the long run. She looked mad as shit. Ronald Shelton. She looked like a grinch. When Ronald first appeared on my 600 pound life, he weighed 678 pounds, Damn. and his weight made it hard to move around, causing him to ride in a wheelchair. However, Damn. he had one goal in mind and that was to drop his weight as much as possible. Uh, Although his weight journey was a bit of a roller coaster with many ups and downs, he was able to make great progress and hey. eventually got the results he was looking for. Bro, his legs After weight like loss surgery now, with Dr. Now, he was able to lose almost 400 pounds. Yeah, but man. according to In Touch Weekly, he was unfortunately diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome, which that? affected his ability to walk and required oh, him to be wheelchair bound bro. again. Unfortunately, after this devastating oh, setback, man. He reportedly gained back 200 pounds. Yeah. Obviously, this was out of Donald's control, but with his motivation, he was able to cut back a few pounds despite this disease. Definitely a great story. Damn. Amber Rassidy. Amber no, has one of the most motivating and no. craziest stories on my 600 pound oh, life. Oh, hell she... no. Well, what? Look at her feet. Nigga, she wear a size six. <laughs> you know the tired people, bro. That white marks. Oh, that motherfucker is tired. Bye, y'all said no, bro. What y'all doing, bro? I'm here, bro. We're like, trying. Like, what are you doing? We're trying to watch you. You was a man. What talking about? Can we not do that? Nigga, I'm here. She got ankle weights on. She got that bus, baby. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. She probably can't stand for long, cause nigga, it's like hella fucking weight on your nigga. You go like. <laughs> you don't even see a Jones or nothing. Hey, bro, bro stop, let's stop right, Jones. Bro. Let's be more inspir inspiring. Yeah. On the show at age 23, she, she weighed 657 pounds Damn. and said she felt like a nasty, yucky monster Good. with a lot of weight in her legs. Yeah! 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 <laughs> yeah! Bro, skip this screen, bro. bro I didn't I mean, expect that to go that screen. far, bro. Move the screen. Oh, my the screen. Move it, bro. Move it, bro. Just go five seconds ahead, bro. Bruh. Hey, After losing 20 pounds in order to qualify for gastric bypass surgery oh, with Dr. Fuck. That should make me want to do push up, nigga. Nah, but like. This shit made me want to hit planks. <laughs> if niggas, like, if you really think about it, bro, it's hard for them to, like, like lose weight. Because, nigga, they be, like, six something. And then they be, like, they lost 20 pounds. But it's not really a big difference. So you still have to be motivated, bro. You know how hard that is? Yeah. When it's like you're 600, like 600 and something pounds, and then the doctors, you working out and doing all that, and the doctors say you lost 20 pounds. But to you, you still feel like you ain't really lose shit. It's called faith, bro. But you have to keep believing and keep believing. But that shit is hard, though, bro. The thing is not, this is how it works. When you, when the per, when a person that size sees that they lost that many, like that much weight, nigga, one pound of fat, do you not know how much that is? Like nigga, that's a big. So when you when you lose twenty pounds, that to the person that knows that situation, they gonna be that's gonna motivate. He underwent the procedure and ended up getting down to three hundred seventy seven pounds within a year. But it didn't end there. Okay. Amber ultimately lost over four hundred pounds okay. and documented the hey, entire sir, thing via her social media I'm sorry for laughing, Sean, I spent stop. a long time not liking <laughs> me, so I'm documenting moments I feel pretty. Amber wrote in a Facebook post. She recently got married to her boyfriend and is now oh, living man. a much oh, better oh, life than before. Oh, Angel Parrish. Upon her first appearance on the show, Angel Parrish weighed oh, a whopping oh, 570 God. pounds, oh, riding in a wheelchair and relying on her boyfriend, Donnie, for everyday needs. Obviously, oh, Angel wanted this to change. 
She said that her eating habits had been triggered by the trauma of placing her baby for adoption at age 14. Oh. And it got worse when she gave birth to a child with Donnie at a young age. Donnie knows this and went so far as to say, via the Daily Mail, that she just stopped living after their son Andrew was born. He threatened that if she didn't get help, he'd have to leave her and take Andrew with him. Sure enough, Angel appeared on the show to get some help and lose the weight she and her boyfriend needed. Parrish changed her diet immediately and ended up losing over 150 pounds. She then proceeded to receive surgery from Dr. Now, which cut off another 300 pounds from her body. After losing the weight, she reflected, it's been a long time since I could look at myself and see someone that I thought was beautiful. She even stated, bro, and that's the thing though, like, bro, when they lose that weight, nice they though. be looking good, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, because, like, the beauty is, like, hidden underneath all those skins that they didn't, they didn't even want. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know how to, if, I, if I put it in the like, white. Okay, bro. You still be a beautiful lady, you big as shit. And it's not to eat, it's to get Andrew ready for school. Nikki Webster. Nikki Webster, without a doubt, has one of the best success stories on the show. She originally weighed in at 649 pounds, and her weight was affecting her career as a costume designer. Luckily, losing her, man, bruh, I thought those were balls, bruh. I was like, nigga, like. Yo, I was gonna say, these niggas got balls for showing that, bro. Bro, I never, I didn't even laugh. That's not. Nothing about this video has, has been humorous to any of us. We haven't even cracked that thing the whole time. Actually, let's press play real quick. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? That nigga Quagmire was hiding on the side like giggity giggity. Nigga, people call their stomach and say jiggly jiggly jiggly. jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. <laughs> the family as Nikki's dad had also undergone a full diet and routine change to lose weight in his life. Nikki was able to undergo gastric bypass surgery with Dr. Now. According to People Magazine, oh, Nikki lost over 450 pounds during her journey. Oh, she stated, you, it's hard to imagine now how I used to live. Not it's sure. just become so vastly different. It has been the hardest two years of my life, but it's been the most victorious and exciting. Yes, sir. Following up with Nikki, she was asked by reporters how she stays in shape after her weight loss. She stated, I do a lot of walking. That's my favorite thing to do. I'll walk at least two to three miles a day, or try to. That's I'll also good. try to do I'll weight training that. and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I go to the gym every now and then and do those sorts of things. As of 2018, Nikki is married and living a much happier life than before the show. Good for you, man. Chuck good Turner. For you, Nikki. Chuck's story is a bit different. Like, I want to piggyback on what Devontae said earlier. We're entertainers, guys. Yeah. yeah. And we, we come on here making jokes, but that's just to entertain people. At the end of the day, we are proud of these people for making a decision that best benefits their health. Definitely. Um, but with that being said, all y'all niggas still can catch the flame button. And um, there's a video that got, I ain't gonna say what happened to that video, but somebody got flamed and they, they, they had a problem with it and then they ended up emailing us and then they did something about the video. So look, we not trying to hurt y'all feelings. Right. People who may be in this video. In another term, we got a fucking strike. <laughs> in another term, we got a fucking strike. Somebody <laughs> strike their shit. Because they was upset that we were flaming somebody <laughs> big ass feet. <laughs> so we not flaming y'all to hurt your feelings. We just doing it because that's what we do, baby. What? We love y'all. We love y'all. Bro, I, I didn't the end of the day, this video is motivational. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. shit, somebody, I know a lot of people going through shit like this, like obesity and all that. Yeah. And this is like, you watch video like this, it make you want to like think about the position you're in. Like you want to get better or you want to be stuck in that position. And so people always end up dying because they don't do nothing about it. Right. And that's not, you don't want to die. That you know? is true too. But there are also like, it is such, there is such a thing to be a healthy, like big person. Yeah. But there's a, there is a such thing as um, <clears throat> being healthy and big. So yeah. Don't be... Many people on the show, but his success story is one to tell. Chuck first appeared on the show weighing in at 693 pounds, but his backstory was very dark. He said that he started gaining weight years earlier, after his first wife was murdered. Eventually, Chuck married a new partner, and things were going well, but his weight was not helping. Chuck felt limited to what he could do, and wanted to help out around the house and with his family. They adopted a son together, and Chuck realized it was the time to do something. Luckily, he was able to have weight loss surgery with Dr. Now, Damn, and he ended up losing 433 like pounds. Oh. Although his yeah. success with weight loss okay. is definitely now like at the end, construction. he unfortunately <laughs> broke <laughs> with his wife. But according to In Touch, he said in a reunion special 
that he was looking for love again. Well, hopefully Chuck was able to find a new partner Pause. because I'm sure he was motivated. This nigga one? lost the weight and then he switched up on his wife? That's what I'm thinking. That's crazy, bro. Wait, he switched nah, up I think that's what left happened. Left. I think I think something else. She left him because he got too skinny? Hell no. no. He left oh, her. Nah, some girls be like that, bro. Okay. They be wanting you to get fat, bro. So so just they can like, take care yeah. Of you. And now they see you doing by yourself. I'm worthless. But I think that's the, <laughs> what, what, what is the issue with him looking for a new wife is probably because he wants to work on the yeah, fact. Yeah, that's probably that, some Like, like the relationship. fact, like, he want to work on his weight. The lady look like she's, she got weight too. Mm-hmm. Like, and it look like a, he might probably want her to work on it as well, but she's not trying to bro. do that. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna care, bro. I know it's like, I was like, but if you leave a motherfucker, Oh, no. I don't want to lie. I want to be serious. <laughs> I don't want to be serious. Exactly. That nigga cruddy, man. Imagine. 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 Oh, I don't know. You're not fucking 310 pounds. <laughs> Who are you? I can't make you do one dinner tray. Hey, sit down. Imagine. 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 Hey. Hey. We're going to bring up the internet. Nah, I'm, I'm busy. I'm, I'm trying to lose weight. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Tom, nigga, you don't want to be obese anymore? <laughs> you don't want to weigh 500 pounds with me? Oh, God damn you. You don't want to be I'm close a- to a- death? <laughs> Tara Taylor. This the first Tara Taylor appeared on the show weighing in at over 610 pounds. The mother of two was practically bedridden, with the extra pressure on her joints making it too painful for her to walk. She mostly relied on her family members to take care of her two kids before finally making the decision to get help with her weight. Luckily, Tara was able to do just that, burning over 300 pounds off of her. As a matter of fact, fortunately, her weight loss ended up giving Tara more complications. When I was 600 pounds, I was very healthy, never got sick or anything, Taylor told TLC for an update in 2018 via sarcasm. But since I had the surgery and lost all this weight, I get sick so easily. But things have why. definitely no, got a, a lot thing. better for Tara. That's actually, In fact, you know why? Because, you know, in your fat, right? There's like, hell no, you joking. No, no, in your fat. I you heard that, hell I heard that, bro. You're not slick, In bro. your fat, no, dead ass. Your you fat can actually, cap, no, cap. your fat can actually hold, like, it can be like a, um. Oh, like, oh, I know what's the word, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, um, like, like a, like a shield. Like a not shield. really a shield, but like it can actually help you. It can counter, help you. counter, like yeah, uh, yeah, like. What? Turns out no she idea. said to Mary <laughs> Eugene, the old friend she went on a date wow. with during a 2015 <laughs> catch-up episode. <laughs> I have never in my life been on a traditional date. She admitted at the time via the Daily Mail. I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm going to take a chance. Uh-oh. Now that I've lost the weight, this is a whole new world for me. Uh-oh. The reason I am willing to give Eugene a chance is that he is a good man. Nicole Lewis, starring in season five of My 600 Pound Life. Nicole made an appearance at just 23 years of age. She was young, with time to improve herself, but she already weighed a mind-blowing 684 pounds. Apparently, she was so wide that she couldn't even fit through her own bedroom door. And at that moment, Nicole knew she needed to try and get some help. She has two kids with longtime partner Charlie, but Nicole wanted to do more to help around the house, and she had children of her own. Her story isn't very happy to start, as Nicole's father was placed behind bars when she was just 16, causing Nicole to go into deep depression and gain a bunch of weight. But luckily, after a few turnarounds and surgery, Nicole lost over 300 pounds. Oh, shit! June McKean. McKamey appeared on My 600 Pound Life with what her girlfriend called a fast food addiction. Longtime partner Sadie was buying fast food for McKinney on a daily basis. Sometimes make. Why this nigga keep crying? Because <laughs> I was holding it in so long, bro. That show just started crying. <laughs> bro, you have to hold it a laugh? And that show just started tearing it up. Oh my god. It's now today, in order to avoid confrontation, she acts like an addict. Sadie said. When June first appeared on the show, she stated, I feel imprisoned into my body. I have three seats, the bed, the bathroom toilet, and my chair. My world is confined. I feel suffocated. My 600 pound life was just the show for June, as she ended up losing over 200 pounds from the works of Dr. Now and her dietary changes. I'm way more mobile than I was almost a year ago. I'm not sick like I used to be, she said. I'm truly enjoying life again. This video is motivating though, and one thing I feel like I want to like pick up and talk about was like, 
You remember the guy that I had to go get married to somebody else because he had to lose weight? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes, you know, there's some females that if you try to motivate them about losing weight, they take it offensive instead of looking at the... I'm saying, yeah, that, that happens know, Instead of too. looking at the, the, the fact of the person, you know, trying to help, help them, them yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's and then look at him, maybe that's, not maybe cool that's probably either, the reason why he, he left, because, yeah. like, shit, if we can have a conversation about stuff that we feel like is for us, then I feel like shit. There's no what, what else can we be talking about that you don't even agree with? But anyway, man, that would be it for this video, man. If you feel like you don't like your weight, or yeah, if you feel like you don't like your weight, yeah, work you can on do it. something about it, bro. Look, bro, look, no, 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 look, like don't take it offensive. Nah, it, don't, don't even take that. Look, if you don't like your size, right? If you insecure about your body, right? First, before you even try to lose weight. Always make sure you are secure with your body. Like, mm-hmm. make sure you got self love. Yeah. Because if you don't yeah. love yourself, how the fuck are you gonna give your body what it needs? Like, you just right. gonna hurt yourself. You just gonna think you losing weight, but in reality, you just destroying yourself. Now, you gotta yeah. love your body before you take that next step to want to lose weight. Definitely. Love your body first, man. Sometimes you know you got you should hate your body too, not in a bad way. Yeah. But be <laughs> mad that, that you're not like, yeah. like yeah. be be upset that you a big nigga or a big woman or. Mm-hmm. Punch that motherfucker, nigga, not like that, nigga, like this. Punch that motherfucker. Oh, you want to die? He said you want to die? Hey, yo, son. Yo, yo, that guy. Fuck, yo. Bro, what I do? Yo. Bro, you just finger me, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, wait, wait, wait. There's two wrong things. There's two wrong things that happen in one second. Yo, 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 y